Hey all and welcome in today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel, as we delve into drawing um, this singer from Pale Ways. Uh, her name is Heather Baron Gracie from the band Pale Waves. Um, and if you want to know anything else about her, just look her up, um, as you do with everyone else, you know. Um, but yeah. Mainly, I'm, I'm going to be chatting to you about drawing, um, you know, characters and things. So that's what I've been doing the last few weeks, is just drawing um, kind of famous-ish. <laughs> um, just singers and idols that I um, really enjoy seeing, you know, like... Um, I did a character from Criminal Minds, Spencer Reed. He's an awesome character. Then I did a singer... Or I don't know which way I did it. I think I did the singer first um, from Silver Scene, Shane Told. Now I've done um, Pale Wave Singer here. She's an awesome British, uh, awesome kind of British band. I think it's a British band, but she's a British singer. Um, she is from Pale Waves. Um, and yeah, she's a um, really cool um, singer. I quite enjoy the band, her music and everything. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, so I decided to to draw it. Now you know, starting out, I, I was struggling a lot with definitely the angle. I think that was one of my flaws in um, the first one that I did, the first character. Well, of this kind of series is kind of like a series in a way. Um, where I'm painting and drawing famous people, just to get better at drawing people, um, the human figure and portraits and that kind of thing, um, is that, yeah, I put it, I think I put it too much of an angle in the first one, and this one, again, it's kind of similar, where I do push the angle a little bit too much, just trying to, it's, it's, it's not, like, um, doing a portrait, like, face on straight up and down really easy because you know you're straight up and down you don't have to put anything on an angle um or anything you know and you can just use straight lines to, to help you out and it, it can and shapes can work out but then put an angle on it um and you know this isn't exactly a you know, it's kind of a little bit to a side. It's not, like, as much as I've done it. And, and the, I think that's a struggle to have it just a little bit off, you know. I find that a little bit challenging. Um, where, you know, it's straight, but it's not completely straight. Or it's on an angle, but it's not exactly on an angle, you know. Like, it's that kind of point where it's kind of like this but it's not exactly the same you know so it makes things a little little bit more complex um however you know i try my best to get this angle right um and the positioning right the best i can um as well as you yeah, trying to capture her um and draw her and try to get proportions right i don't i think I did get some of the proportions right, but this for me is a 90 minute art challenge. It is not a the greatest painting in the world, and it probably isn't the best painting of the of that I could do, um of of um Heather here. It's, yeah, it's probably not the best painting um that I could do. You know, it, it, it is still, you know, I was planning on doing this for an hour and a half a 90 minute art challenge, but I ended up doing um, two hours of actually drawing this, um, plus a little bit more, you know, a couple of temps before that, so, I kind it was kind of like a 90 minute, but it was a little bit more than a 90 minute kind of a thing, um, I didn't time myself, you know, it wasn't like a oh, 90 minutes thing, I just went for it, I just was like, oh, it's been a few nights or something on it, and it ended up being two hours of recording time, so, um, it kind of became a nine minute art challenge anyway, um, with a little half an hour on top. Um, I kind of was running a little short on time, um, with finishing this off. Um, but yeah, I could have, I could have spent another night or two on it basically. Um, 
but I thought it was, you know, I was getting to a point where I couldn't make it any better. <laughs> At, with that, you know, with it, I'd have to start all over again, kind of a thing. Um, yeah. But, as you can see, I'm getting up close and trying to, um, going into detail a little bit more um, in this. Um, and that's what I don't do within 90 minutes, you know, I don't really get up and close and, and um, get into the details of it all, I try and capture the whole piece, um, which can be uh, kind of um, good and bad, you know, both sides of a coin there, yeah. good and bad, it's good because... Um, I can try and flesh it out a little bit more. It's bad because I'm not focusing on the whole image as a whole. I could get like locked into like what her eyes look like kind of a thing and then the rest of the image is, is lacking. So yeah, that's where it's it's a good and a bad thing, you know, like um two sides of a coin there, so yeah. Um but this is uh, it was lots of fun, um painting her and trying to <laughs> get things captured right, like trying to fit her nose in at the right space because it felt like it looks really far from her eyes, but when I'm drawing it, it doesn't seem too far. Um, but looking at it now, it's probably proportionally in the right place, roughly, the looking at it now. Um, I feel like there's things I've done right, and just looking at it now, I'm looking like, okay, there's things I felt like need to be done better. <laughs> um, but, you know, with doing something like this, you could, um, like, this is one painting, and then I could do, like, a character version of her kind of a thing. Um, I think I got her teeth wrong <laughs> a little bit, you know, trying to, it looks like bunny rabbit kind of teeth, but it's, it's not exactly, it looks like in my drawing, basically, it looks like that, where, um, yeah, she needs another tooth, basically, <laughs> but there's little things here that, um, really make up the piece as well, it's trying to, I've really worked on that chin, or try to get that chin jawline working, um, so that was a bit of a struggle, um, but again, 90 minute art challenge, you gotta look at the, the things you've done right, and, and bring it into the next drawing, the next painting, um, the things you've done wrong, you just gotta look at it and, and notify them, and whether I paint this again or not, I could be like, yeah, I'll paint this again, I could in, I could do, in a year's time, maybe I could do this series again, or something, or redo the series, maybe, I could do these guys as, as characters rather than portraits because um, that's what I kind of wanted to do a bit of character I did a character a little while back um, of someone can't remember who but I did a character not too a couple of months ago or something of a someone <laughs> oh Mr. Bean I believe I think that was my character of him. Um, painting Mr. Bean is kind of character-like. Um, but yeah, that's not my forte, but that's... I feel like working on this on the things that isn't your forte, isn't not your thing that you usually do, um, does help in the long run, like, your skills. It, it's like, you know, I, I watch... A bit of YouTube and um, surprisingly be a YouTuber, you know. Um, and I watch a bit of skateboarding because I'm into skateboarding. And one guy was like, "Well, you know, um, no time on a skateboard is wasted," um, which is so true. It's the same for art, the same for illustration. No time painting or drawing is wasted. Um, because you're painting and drawing something, um, you're practicing those skills, um, even though you're not working on maybe something you're really focused on at the moment, 
it still adds to to the skills and those things so just painting anything and everything it doesn't really matter it adds to your skills painting something like this does level up my skills in painting animals as well um so that's my portrait at the moment of um power wave singer heather so hopefully you've enjoyed it keep creating keep drawing and see you in the next video